What we'd like to do is convert the function y equals negative 3 over 5 times x squared minus 7 over 4 times x plus 5 halves to vertex form by completing the square. Well, we have to follow the steps. The first step is to factor out the leading coefficient from the first two terms. Well, factoring out negative 3 fifths from negative 3 fifths x squared is easy, but factoring it out from negative 7 quarters is tough. Well, not really, though, if you know your fractions. Negative 7 quarters divided by negative 3 fifths is a pretty simple process. You just have to make sure you follow the steps. That becomes negative 7 quarters times 5 over negative 3, which becomes negative 35 over negative 12. Since this is a positive quantity, negative divided by negative, we just make both the numerator and denominator positive. Okay, so what we have is negative 3 fifths times x squared plus 35 over 12 x plus 5 halves. What we now want to do is divide the coefficient of x by 2. Well, 35 over 12 divided by 2 is the same as 35 over 12 divided by 2 over 1, which is the same as 35 over 12 times 1 over 2, which is the same as 35 over 24. We put that in a red triangle because we just might come back to it. We're now going to square that result. 35 over 24 quantity squared is the same as 35 over 24 times 35 over 24, which is 1,225 over 576. We now want to add and subtract that last result inside the brackets. So we take our bracket from a while ago, which was negative 3 fifths x squared plus 35 over 12 x plus 5 halves, and we add and subtract 1225 over 576. We're then going to distribute the leading coefficient only to the last term inside the bracket. So this negative 3 fifths will multiply the negative 1225 over 576. This will allow us to kick that out of the bracket. Well, in order to do that, we multiply negative 3 halves times negative 1225 over 576. This is a multiplication symbol. And we can uh, reduce. Uh, we see that um, 576 divided by 3 is 192. So we can reduce this to a negative 1 and reduce this to a 192. Negative 1225 divided by 5 is negative 245. So we can reduce this to negative 245, reduce this to 1. And when we multiply across, we get positive 245 over positive 192. And so we can kick that uh, term out, and we have negative 3 fifths x squared plus 35 over 12 x plus 1225 over 576 plus 245 over 192 plus 5 halves. Well, we need to recognize this as a perfect square. And on first glance, very few people would do that. But we remember that we had a red triangle earlier that had 35 over 24 in it. That means this bracket is equal to x plus 35 over 24 quantity squared. So all we have to now do is just add up these two uh, terms and, and uh, using the fraction rules and we're going to be fine. Well, we'll collect like terms. So the two-parter says recognize the trinomial inside the bracket is a perfect square. If necessary, go back to the red triangle from a few steps back and collect like terms outside the bracket. Well, 245 over 192 plus 5 over 2 is the same as 245 over 192 plus. Now, at this point, I like to get my common denominator of 192 down first. Um, I multiplied this 192 by 1 to get 192, so I multiplied 245 by 1 to get 245. I multiplied 2 by 96 to get to 192, so I multiply 5 by 96. And when I add the 245 and the 480, I get 725. And so what we really have is negative 3 fifths times x plus 35 over 24 quantity squared plus 725 over 192.